What's up guys and I'm finally reviewing Face Dose which completes the reviews for my initial Eternals haul. But that's not all. Don't forget the latecomers Druig and Sprite who will fully complete my Eternals collection. Now I do have black and gold Spidey as I've shown you guys but I've decided I just really want to finish off this Eternals wave. So the voting poll will be between the remaining Eternals, Druig or Sprite, then I'll do the Gilgamesh bath, and then I'll finish off the reviews with the No Way Home black and gold Spidey. It'll be like icing on top of a cherry. Or wait, I think I got that wrong. Anywho, and don't forget to check out the reviews of these other figures I already opened and reviewed right up here in case you missed it. And with that said, let us finally review face dose. Starting with the box, I have a really scratched up box front for some reason. And then here's a side with the glam shots, which is the same on the back, which is a pretty cool picture. Here's some of the dialogue here that says over the centuries, face dose has nudged humanity forward technologically. So I guess he's the real reason behind the iPhone and the Tesla. Here's the other figures. And of course the bottom with the UPC. And there he is guys, Fastos, not Fastos. I just realized I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. And he's played by Brian Tyree Henry, who was also the voice of Miles' dad in Into the Spider-Verse. But anywho, let's finally take a closer look at Fastos. Now starting with the face sculpt, I think the likeness to Brian is actually pretty good. As good as you can get with plastic and paint at least. Contouring and sculpting overall is nice and the hair looks great as well. So. This is definitely a win when it comes to likeness. And then the arms are pretty nice too. Got some major muscles there. Then he's got this cool circle right there, which is actually even on both sides, which I'm so happy for. I just, I got lucky with this one. This one came in the mail, so didn't exactly get to pick a paint job. And thankfully for the most part, it turned out well. Love the gold there, except for one blaring part. And that's his hand that has this big splotch of silver on it. It's like, what? Why is there silver on his hand? I mean. I'm thinking this is probably in a batch of hands and they just had to go in and grab the hand and stick it on there So why is there silver? Like why was there silver on somebody's hand when they go? I don't know so I might have to do something about that and the cloak itself is fairly bendy it, It's it, you have to be careful not to tear it. I, I question it But anyways the side cloaks is actually it's very thick as you can see the plastic that they used and it just, just look at the thickness, and it doesn't really want to move that much. Actually, I guess this is the same thickness too, but it can kind of bend. But yeah, it doesn't move much, so looking at the legs is a little bit difficult. We'll see, hopefully I don't tear it in the process, but anyways, that's what the legs look like. I'll just turn it there. You got some details up there on the thigh, and then on the calf, you got some more details there, but nothing on the inside, and eh, not really much on the back. And then you got some pretty decent looking shoes there with some some line markings and stuff like that. But overall, just kind of a, a simple design. There's the bottom of the feet. And I guess you can kind of, does that work? No. But anyways, that's what the inside of the cloak looks like and the back of the legs. Wow. Okay. Public service announcement, guys. Do not lift up on his cloak like I just did. The paint literally just chipped off. Look at that right at the bend point when I lifted it up. I'm not gonna do it again, but it, it chipped the paint. I mean, what? I thought the paint was more durable than this. It, it just, oh, I was talking about how I had a perfect paint job and then I just messed it up by lifting the cloak. I am just really unhappy and disappointed right now, but uh, maybe I'll just, I'll just say it's battle damage from reviewing it. Ugh. But anywho, as for articulation, his head rotates in the usual circle. It's on that ball there, so he's got some good side to side there and some good up and down, and I just love that ball joint. Woo! And of course, the arm rotates in the usual circle. Shoulder joint goes up that much, and the bicep swivel there, and then the double jointed pinless elbow, which is awesome, and then the flapper doodle hand that spins and does the flapper doodle with silver paint. And then the legs go that much forward definitely being more careful now so I don't chip it again yeah. then it's got splits that go that much and it's not really much leg movement honestly then of course you have the thigh swivel here and the double jointed pinless knees which are almost pointless because I mean you can't go past the cloak and then you have the foot that goes backwards forwards and spins yeah so that's one bad thing about these eternal figures when they have these big old cloaks like this it's just I mean, you just ignore the leg movements because they, I mean, seriously, what, you, 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 ugh. Yeah, I'm still salty about that paint chip. Really irritated that I did that. 
and that it happened. But anyways, as for accessories, he comes with two fisted hands here, which I will definitely be using right now to get rid of that silver splotch on that arm. So at least he has that. So I guess I'll have one fisted hand and one open hand there. And of course, he comes with Gilgamesh's other leg. And for some comparisons, here he is next to his fellow Eternals that I've opened so far. The team's really coming together now. Here he is next to some Infinity Saga figures, as well as the No Way Home Spider Dude. Here he is holding the batteries that just died in my mic, hoping he can recharge them since he is the tech guy. And here he is next to the IKEA Fall 2021 collection table. Whoa, it looks like you built the perfect safe house here. What is this even made of? Vibranium? No! Well guys, overall I do like this figure aside from the flaws that I've shown. The silver paint on his right hand doesn't make any sense and the paint chipping from bending the cloak is just uh, headache inducing. I mean, it, it is my fault because I did bend it but at the same time I thought Hasbro had more durable paint than that so well live and learn i definitely won't be making that mistake again with the other figures and i'm glad it didn't happen with ajak but anywho head to my community tab for the voting poll to vote for druig or sprite to be reviewed next after which i'll review the bath gilgamesh and then finish it off with golden black spider dude which will be like a cherry on a cake wait I still got that wrong. So don't forget to vote and don't forget to subscribe too so that you get first dibs on every video that comes out. And as always, thanks for watching and type F in the comments for Icarus because you don't mess with a man's fall collection IKEA table. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.